Hey kids, welcome to lesson 10, building an app, color sleuth number 12. Next step, add function update score by. We're going to follow the same pattern we used when adding switch player. We'll add variables, a function, calls to the function, and for now we'll just use console.log statements to verify we've got things working. What are we gonna do? We're gonna add global variables to the top of the code that's going to be the variable p1 score is going to be equal to zero, and variable p2 score is going to be equal to zero. We're going to add a new function definition, update score by, with an if statement, and console.log statement to verify. Something like this below. We have a little example of the function there. Add some calls, update score by one, and update score by negative three to the appropriate place inside the if statement in the check correct function. You can leave your console.log statements in there for now as well. Just add the calls to update score by along with them. Test it out. When you run your program, now you should be able to verify in the console that the player's scores are updating. Study the console output to make sure and verify that. Update score by is being called from the check correct with each click. If you have console.log statements and update score by, then you should at least see that it's being called with each click. The scores are being updated by the correct amount, and we should get a sample output that looks something like this. And that's a whole bunch of statements we got going there. But seems pretty interesting, and I love keeping scores, so this seems like a project for me. We pretty much have the same three things to do as we've been doing, so let's go ahead and jump in and do them. First one I'm gonna do here is I'm going to make my first variable p1 score equal to zero. What's p1 score? Well, if you look, we don't really have anything for that. That's what this variable is gonna be. Ultimately, we're probably going to call this number at some point and then display it. Hmm, I wonder where. Second line is going to be our variable again. This is going to be P2 score. And that is also going to be equal to zero. Those are our global variables. You can see we're getting a ton of them now, up to four. Wonder how many we'll end up finishing with. Well, once we get that score there, we're going to have to do something with it. And that's what our function is doing. And we're going to write this function here. I'm going to go down to the bottom and comment out. And this is going to be score update. We're going to create another function. So I'm going to go over to my functions here and drag this over. We're going to update our name of our function. This is going to be update score by. And then we have something in here, AMT. I'm going to go ahead and assume this is amount. We have an if statement we're going to do, and that is if current player equals one. So current player equals one. Then the P1 score is going to, ooh, spell it right though, is going to equal p1 score plus amt. We'll call that amount for right now. That is our first part of our if statement. Now we have to take care of our else statement. So else, don't forget your brace to start this. And the else is going to be P2 score. So if P2 score is going to be equal to P2 score plus AMT. At that point, that closes that off. I don't think we need this extra one there. And once we do that, oops, don't forget your semicolons there. Once we do that though, we need some console.log statements. So we have our bracket there. I'm gonna go and do my console.log. 
this one is going to say P1 score space with their quotes plus P1 score like that. That's our first one. Our second one is going to look nearly identical. So P2 score and that's going to be plus P2 score. Make sure these are both spelled the same, and now they are. At this point, it's going to say, hey, this stuff has been defined but not declared, and that's what we're going to take out right now. What we have to do is we have to call this update score, and we're going to do it by one or by negative three. Where are we going to put that first? If we look over to our code here, we can see that earlier we had something that said, hey, you're right or you're wrong. So our check correct function here. I think this is probably going to be the best place to put it because we're already seeing if something is right or wrong. Now all we have to do is we just have to tell the code, hey, we just want to add some points to it. I'm going to hit a space down here. And this is going to be update score by one. And that's what that's going to do right there. Now what I do to one, I got to do to another one. I have to update score. And this time we want it to be negative three. Make sure you get it spelled right. Don't forget the capitalized by at the end. Now that we got that all done, we look pretty good. We have P1 score up there, P1 score down there. We have our P2 score, just making sure everything is right. Oop. That should be a lowercase p, and there we go. One last thing here, it's saying current player has not been declared. Well, current player is up here. And if you can see, we missed an R, so current player is now defined. Looks like I took care of all of my little yellow triangles. Everything looks like it should, and it makes sense in my head, so let's test out some code here. When I hit run, it should go with the same outputs as before, checking button one, you got it right. This time though, I'm gonna get a score down here. And more importantly, the score should update every time I make another selection. We're gonna hit run, button three, P1 score, oh, I got one right, so I got positive one. Let's just make sure P2 adds. I'm gonna click on that. P1 and P2 score is now one. Let's try the hard part, let's get something wrong. Well, I got that one wrong, and it subtracted three, Three from one is negative two. I do the same thing, I should get the same thing over there. We can keep clicking on it, current player two. And as you can see, my score is going up and down. Looking back at my code, everything looks pretty good here to me. I don't think there's anything else to do. I added global variables to the top added a new function called update score by, and then I added calls inside my check correct function. I left my console.log out, because that's what I wanted to do, and it looks like everything is running as it should. Let's see if code.org wants anything else from me. No. Good job, kids. I know this was a tough one. I'll see you on the next puzzle.